channel so today we will learn everything about ESLint what is ESLint and how we can use ESLint in our project and what was the need of ESLint why we use ESLint okay so everything will be covered in this video and video will be very basically uh, ESLint is a uh, Java, JavaScript uh, code analyzer tool which you know analyze uh, your code and which can give you some common error uh, which can detect some common error in, in your code and then it can auto fix also some some of the common errors. Uh, configure first of all so we have to write uh, writes npm in it either at eslint slash config okay so this is the uh, this is the command to config uh, configure uh, eslint in your project so i will press enter okay okay so now before the before setting up the configuration it will ask you some questions you have to give the answer according to those questions uh, those answers your uh, configuration file will be created okay so first question is how would you like to use eslint so uh, uh, these are the three options so i will use uh, second option to check syntax and find the problems okay this is my uh, objective to using uh, eslint so i will press enter now now second question is what type of modules does your project use so i use uh, javascript modules import export so export so i will uh, pick this uh, first option and now next question is which framework does your project use so i am using react okay so guys basically i am using this react project right now this is a uh, this project was created using create react app uh, command okay this, this is very simple basic project so if i show you here uh, this is my uh, localhost running here on 3000 okay so now again we we come to uh, our uh, uh, file setup okay so next question is does your project use typescript so by default option is no and i am also not using typescript so i will choose no also uh, now next question is where does your code run so my code is running on browser so i will select browser only press enter what format do you want your configuration file to be in okay so uh, my preference will be json file so i will pick this json file so json now it is saying the config that you have selected requires the following dependencies so uh, as per my configuration i have to install these dependency also eslint plugin react latest so th this plugin uh, i need to install in my project so i will allow would you like to install them now yes so the yes is selected by default so i will pick this uh, pick yes here now it is saying which package manager do you want to use so i am using npm only so i'm i'm i will press npm okay now it is co configuring the file now you will see here eslint configuration file will be generated you will see here wait a minute okay yeah as you can see this is the file eslint rc file eslint rc.json file this is the configuration file uh, this file got generated this is very basic file basically uh, environment browser the basic basic uh, things are there nothing fancy in this so i will uh, so we have to add some rules basically so there are multiple rules we can enforce in our uh, project uh, according to those given rules uh, our uh, like eslint will apply those rules in in the in all the files uh, in our project and then uh, give the error and you know it can fix also those uh, those uh, errors so we have to give some rules here so i have just selected some of the common rules uh, from chat gpt uh, these are the common rules uh, basic eslint rules in json format okay so i will pick these uh, basic rules you can copy these rules some of the rules we can copy uh, co after copying just paste these rules these are the very common uh, common rules basically basic basic rules and you can you can create your custom rules also but but that is a uh, separate discussion uh, we will no, uh, not go into uh, that deep so, uh, so here we can use these uh, these uh, rules so it is a indent should be two uh, two level and semicolon should be always it is saying same, uh, uh, after every statement there should be a semicolon and it will give you error you, you have to you have option to give error or warning but uh, it will give you error default so code and quotes will be single quotes okay so uh, for string it will create single quotes and nowhere in these kind of these are the very basic uh, configuration so uh, so let's uh, let's do next thing okay so now our basic eslint rc file is ready so this is our configuration file basically okay so now we have to uh, create script also inside our package json okay now we will see if we see uh, package json okay let me close this uh, minimize this one okay 
so you you can see eslint is installed here dev dependency okay it is this was the eslint and this was another plugin that supports eslint eslint plugin react okay so this support eslint so these both are installed in our project so these are uh, as a dev dependency because we need uh, eslint coding uh, style in enforcement only for uh, development server okay okay so uh, now this this is our uh, script section so we have to create a script basically script command um, uh, by using that command we will run our script we will add uh, for fixing the lint, uh, lint issues so lint has the capacity to auto fix uh, most of the errors so we will use that capacity of uh, es lint so we have to add a uh, uh, new script lint fix okay name can be anything uh, from here we have to use es lint okay then dot then fix okay this is the flag okay now uh, es lint will be able to fix our error also okay so now uh, we have added our uh, script for eslint and we already have uh, created eslint uh, rc file also so our setup is almost done for eslint and now we are uh, free to use eslint in our project so let's start and let me show you how we can use eslint in our project now okay so now i will i will run this uh, lint script here npm lint npm run lint okay now you can see eslint has uh, uh, shown these errors okay six errors are there and zero warning so these are the errors missing column and th these are these kind of errors are this file this is in the file app.js basically okay and one is inside index.js okay so let me fix this first of all these are the errors basically okay it, it, it is saying missing semicolon okay semicolon missing here also semicolon missing a is assigned a value but never used okay here we have assigned a but never used okay and missing space before function parentheses and here also it has detected that uh, the uh, function parentheses uh, should be given some space okay uh, so these these kind of errors uh, it has detected so let me try to fix uh, these error, uh, errors with the help of eslint itself so i will use npm uh, npm run lint then fix okay now you will see the uh, eslint will auto fix these kind of errors okay these are the simple errors so it will auto fix you will see changes here just keep your eye here and you will see the changes okay eslint will auto fix these values uh, these errors so let me uh, uh, fix this these errors okay okay cool now you can see uh, eslint already has uh, added a semicolon and it also has given space between this okay and semi uh, double co se uh, double colon were replaced with single colon okay as we described inside our uh, rules basically like quotes should be single okay and semicolon should be always after each line right so these kind of uh, rules we already have given so according to those rules eslint has applied those rules on our uh, project basically so now, now we will run again so now we can see only one error is there okay earlier it was six errors so five errors uh, got fixed automatically and inside this also it has aut automatically added this comma basically this was error so now this is the only error this a a it is saying a is assigned a value but never used okay so obviously uh, eslint by default can't use uh, uh, any variable so uh, just we have to use uh, okay now i will use a okay now let's see what it says now okay i will run uh, npm run elint again okay now it is saying zero errors one warning okay uh, uh, with with eslint as you already have seen we can apply some rules with which we like all developers inside a team different different developers can write the write the code in a in same pattern okay so basically this was the use of eslint i hope you now uh, uh, got some idea like basic idea about eslint and there are lots of uh, custom rules are there like you can create custom rules also, also. some predefined rules are also there uh, so you can use those uh, rules inside your eslint and your uh, eslint will behave uh, um, accordingly and you, those rules will be enforced inside your uh, project okay so uh, i hope you you have learned some uh, valuable uh, uh, information about eslint so thanks for watching this video i will see you in my next video thank you bye bye